Hi there, I'm Binati and I'm available on all an academy platforms at Binati157 and this is a little something about me so if you want to feel free to go ahead and look into it and as always don't forget to rate the course and the chapter um, if you choose to give a low rating let me know why or uh, do drop in a review it could be a positive review it could be criticism uh but just let me know right and then if you think it would help someone out the course or the chapter uh, do recommend uh, whatever it is you think is helpful to the community and if you have any doubts post those in the comment section and if you think the effort was if you think that this was a nice course then definitely share it on any available social media platforms that you use so let's directly get into the course now which is information about the iims and other prestigious colleges so i begin with discussing cat Uh, because most of us are trying to get into the colleges via cat examinations and yes definitely uh, a cat score opens way more doors for us than than say a tisnet score does right so um, if we discuss specifically about cat uh, cat is like um, a 3 hour test right and we have three three sections and we have to attempt all of the these three sections one by one and we have one hour for each of these sections and we have like total 100 questions it is 32 32 and 34 34 32 right so that is how our exams are uh, or the sections are divided and you get plus 3 marks for every right question and minus 1 mark for every wrong question so like as i've been mentioning in the past two informative videos about cat cat is basically just you need strong basics and you need to be able to perform well under pressure right if you are one of those people who gets disheartened after the first setback then like yeah uh, no matter how much you prepare cat is going to get you right which is why preparing for mocks is very important and then um, since last year before uh, before 2016 or before cat 2016 we didn't really see a lot of these non mcq questions right but since 2016 i suppose cat wanted to mix things up or weed out the coaching institute uh, uh, conventional crowd that you know used to crack the exams but didn't really provide much quality in terms of uh, their potential and what not so they added in this non mcq uh, quest uh, uh, or you directly have to mention the answer right or you have to type in the answer instead of you selecting one of the answers or instead of you using the method of eliminating options so how many how many non mcq questions come in your section will determine how freaked out you get with these questions right because some of us who uh, or some of you who are actually attending coaching institutes one of the predominant methods they teach you is how to select the right option right instead of learning how to find the answer so if you'll get freaked out by any question or something like that what will happen is uh, you'll get stressed and a lot of um, uh, biochemical things will happen in your head and like your efficiency will decrease right so um, definitely don't be intimidated by questions like these and how many of these questions show up will determine uh, like the probability of you getting more than 95 percentile in the your cat exams so um, uh, like previous year out of 34 uh, verbal ability reading comprehension section 10 questions turned out to be uh, questions which were non mcq questions as in we had to physically type the answers right so the like uh, prepare uh, yourself mentally by giving as many mocks as you can and like for quant you could you know you could work things out but then for verbal like uh, see all of these sections you'll either have a right answer or a wrong answer right we don't have answers which will be partially correct or partially wrong so definitely uh, sign up for as many mocks as you can because cat is going to test how well you perform 
under stress right so definitely get into that and now again as as you did in the previous video i'll do in this video as well which is now we go into snapshot mode wherein uh, th this is a list about the best uh, cat colleges uh, best uh, best colleges that you could get in via cat exams so now see this uh, is uh, this a uh, list will differ from the previous list why because previous list was about the best mba colleges in india now this is a list about best best M the best colleges or the colleges that you can get in india easily via cat right or um, uh, rather than that uh, let's say you want to get into one of these four colleges only your cat score will not cut it for you you will need a killer uh, application let uh, application form or you will need uh, a sort of a dynamic past uh, and when i say dynamic past you need extra curricular activities or you need a very good edu uh, previous educational experience or maybe some work experience to get an edge over other students whereas with just a good exam score you could get into one of these like just a good cat score will cut it but for these colleges along with cat you will need to have a personal history a, a fantastic personal history to sp uh, speak about you or to uh, speak about your capabilities to the people that are uh, selecting you into these colleges so again start snapshotting these are the best cat uh, or the most difficult to least difficult uh, colleges to get best colleges to get in via a cat score so th these are again uh, as of uh, latest lists give, uh, printed online and uh, this is page 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 6 right so as you can see these are the top 100 colleges that you can get into uh, via so even if uh, you didn't really get into uh, like 99 you were 95 or 96 percent if you ended up getting uh, some something like that in your cat like uh, don't be disheartened all of these 100 colleges uh, uh will definitely ensure that you have a good first stepping stone especially in terms of uh, you getting a good start in your career i mean yes this is going a little bit off topic but i do know a person who studied uh, her mba from a college called uh, a masters in business administration bharuch and is currently one of the top brass in the west division and she is currently one of the top brass in the west division of icici bank so like um, the college will definitely give you a good start in the beginning uh, but um, in the in the at the end of the day it's going to be how well you perform uh, and what sort of projects you enter into and what how you exactly perform in the in those projects so uh, before i end this video i'll address uh, a few doubts that have been a recurring theme in the previous two video, uh, previous two courses about cat which was i have 5 months or 6 months or 7 months to prepare for cat 17 uh, what strategy to follow so uh, like my answer for that would be uh, see if there is uh, no matter what people say um, nothing is technically impossible right there are lots of factors that work into you getting a good score so uh, the primary requirement for you getting a good score in any cat right say cat 17 18 19 20 whichever uh, year you sit to give your cat primary requirement is going to be basics so if your basic arithmetic and grammar skills are not of a certain level or if you are not uh, familiar with uh, these rules or if you are uh, not in line with the principles of language and mathematics then you 
even if you have like 17 18 months for cat it's it's going to be difficult right you're going to cut it close so first thing that i suggest is instead of focusing on just cat 2017 focus on your basics if you get your basics right then you will be able to understand what the question is trying to ask and once you understand what the question is trying to ask you will be able to process it or answer it quickly so clear your basics as much as you can and the second uh, thing is uh, because this is a game of uh, percentile reading comprehension or rc is going to go a long way in giving a boost to your score right yes i know that it is part of the verbal ability section so you will have to have certain benchmarks as far as other sections go but if you get all the rcs correct you are uh, kind of knocking it out of the park right like uh, even if you just fill out your name and leave the uh, you know leave the paper empty you will end up with good 30 to 35 percentile at least so if you get one question right that number is going to go up to 40 if you get two questions right 42 43 percentile right so um, if you if your rc game is strong uh, the chances of you going above 60 percentile even if you don't know any other uh, aspects of cat right just by rc you'll be able to cross all correct rcs you'll be able to cross a specific threshold right so try to practice two to three rcs every day in the beginning and as you approach your cat 17 increase the frequency of your rc practice and as far as di is concerned uh percentages chapter is going to be very important for you and there is a course that i've put in which uh, about speed maths which has a few uh, pages wherein like one by two is 0.5 or 50 percent so there are certain numbers if you memorize those numbers or those fractions or those percentages half of your work is done right the mental calculation uh, aspect of percent of figures will be handled just by those numbers so learn those percentage values and learn those fractional values and uh, just uh, instead of uh, f focusing on, in on the cat exam in the first month of your preparation focus on your basics right get your basics right like say this is uh, this is june for me when, when i'm recording this video so from uh, june say june 20th to july 20th if i have these five months to prepare all i'll do is i will just understand or refresh my basics and while I do that, I will keep reading 50 pages of quality fiction or non-fiction a day. And I will try to solve at least two reading comprehensions daily. No exceptions. Right. And then after July 20th, I will increase my RC, con RC consumption to three RCs a day. And then um, I will start pr practicing as many quant and DI and LR questions that I possibly can. Um, and of course, um, my, my verbal is strong, but if your verbal is not strong, you know, f there are so many resources available for you. So do word power made easy, do better English, right? And uh, for quant, get Arun Sharma. Uh, if you are already good at quant, do Nishit, uh, Nishit uh, I forgot the surname, right? So uh, like, see the approach that you have to these exams or how much you already know is going to be a big factor if you are preparing on your own and the biggest one of them all is if you uh, like five because you only have five months the all the mock uh, sessions have or uh, all the portals that take mocks have already closed up but then you could sign up for these mocks and in the last month take these mocks very very seriously right because mock exams is are going to determine how well you perform under pressure and uh, it's going to set the tone for your exams so like i'm done for this session uh, just know yourself and uh, formulate a plan that suits you the best because i can give many number of strategies but at the end of the day it's it's only on you 
सो थैंक यू सो मच एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लक